This is Twit. Tom in Chicago, Illinois. Hello, Tom. Hi, Leo. How are you doing? Well, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. You know, I was just not going to say that because everyone asks how, how you're doing. I don't mind. It's okay. Okay. It's an well, automatic LTL. thing, and it's fine with me. Yeah, okay. Well, LTL, 3TC. W6, TWT. No. no, no <laughs> what is LTL, 3BC? 3TC. What is long it? Long-time listener. Long-time listener. Third-time caller. <laughs> That's the three through me. <laughs> yeah, I knew, I knew it. <laughs> Welcome. Do I sound okay? You sound great. What are you on? Well, I'm I'm using my AirPods with my iPhone. Oh, this sounds and, really and good. Because the first time I called you, I just used my my iPhone it was about three years ago, and it was sounded awful. Yeah, no, this sounds and clear as a bell. And last year, I used my Plantronics USB yeah. and called on Skype. And when I listened to it, I sounded so hot, it, it was ridiculous. So the third time's a charm. Yeah. The reason I'm calling you is I belong to a, an older men's organization. And I've been trying to uh, get my fellow members to put in their emergency information yes. in the health app yes. in, their, in their iPhone. Yes. And, uh, and I, I point out that the, the emergency technicians can open it up and find out this information without knowing their code. It's called ICE, in yeah. case of emergency. ICE. And it's really important. It, you'd go into the health app on your iPhone, and there's a section for in case of emergency. And you're right, they don't have to unlock the phone, which makes it... And in fact, I know first responders know enough to, to when they see a phone. I've talked to first responders. They say the most important thing we want is not blood type or... Uh, allergies. Frankly, we want next to kin. We want somebody to call, but uh, they will, of course, pay attention to you know allergies. They don't want to give you uh, something that that will make you sicker. So that is a very important thing to have. Ice. Yeah. yeah. But then uh, other people say, "Well, gee, I have an Android. How do I do that?" And I go, "I don't know." <laughs> and I've Googled it, and I haven't found any way that you can open up an Android phone like without a code. Yeah. Yeah, because it's, it's nice on the iPhone because uh, it's it's there before you get into it. And, and first responders know how to do it. The problem is there's so many different Android phones. And the rules for how to do this vary depending on which Android phone you have. I think that is a big deal. Um, I don't know if there's a standard way to do it anymore. There used to be on Android in the, in the early days. Uh, you know... Um, one way to do it, and you and you and you, this will depend very much on which Android they have. Samsungs, for instance, have owner and owner info section that, when the phone is locked, will scroll across the phone, and at least that would give them some information. Uh, you can also, on a Samsung phone, update your profile in the contacts app, and you'll notice there's medical information in there. And then you can also uh, set ICE emergency contacts. I think that's there by default on Samsung phones. So you want to add that. That's very important. But but look at the lock screen message. Most, uh, not all, unfortunately, many Android phones have a lock screen message. And you could put information there. If nothing else, put a uh, contact phone number. Because, as I said, the first responders, that's the thing they tell me. that they. And if you're a first responder, uh, uh, let me know if I'm wrong on this. But I've talked to a couple, and they said, look, what we really want is that emergency contact number. So at the very least, you know, put that in your lock screen message. You could say ICE in a phone number, and people will know what that means. The first responders will know. And if you don't have that feature, the one last thing you can do, and this is true on any phone, you know you have a lock screen image the thing that shows up, you can use a photo editor with that lock screen image and put some information there. Now, remember, everybody oh, yeah. will be able everybody will be able to see that. But uh, so you you know consider that. But uh, almost uh, almost any phone will have a lock screen image, and at the very least, you could do you know in just if you do ICE, that's in case of emergency. People know what that means, and then a phone number. That's getting you ninety percent of the way there. As long as that person is will answer. I should just tell my friends to get an iPhone. Yeah, yeah, this is something Apple's done really, really well. 
I wish every I don't know you know Android the problem is Android is not unlike iOS it's not a unified ecosystem there's lots of different Android phones and lots of different ways to do it so on the iPhone it's well, this very summer I, this summer I was at an amusement park and on a roller coaster and my phone started ringing so when I when I got off I went and looked at it and it was a local call and I thought well maybe this is my hotel I better call it so I call and I get the police and they said, we just had an emergency call from this phone. Wow. And I said, oh, my God, no, I just had it in my pocket. You know, I must have done it. I'm so sorry. It was the and roller said, coaster. Okay. <laughs> she goes, are you on the Intimidator? I go, yes, I am. She goes, oh, good. Our GPS is really good. <laughs> they knew exactly where you were. And you know, yeah, they probably you, knew I was going down the big hill. It's scary enough. You could have had a heart attack on that thing. I maybe they maybe maybe they knew. Yeah, they. Uh, yeah, I boy, I'm. You're exactly right. Tell everybody you know and everybody in your men's group that is a very, especially as we get to a certain age, that's a very important thing to have on there. Is your in case of emergency information. Uh, but unfortunately, with Android phones, there's no single way to do it. Uh, so. Samsung phones do have a way, and other phones, if you at least in the lock screen, put it in a lock screen message or on the lock screen as a as text. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. My pleasure. I'm gonna look here. Somebody's saying uh, I'm gonna look on my Pixel phone, which is kind of the default um, Android phone. Somebody's saying that they also have an ICE entry under contacts. So I'm gonna search for I C E. No, all I'm getting is ice cream stores. <laughs> That's not going to help my heart health. <laughs> yeah, but it's really a great idea because we all now have phones uh, in our pockets all the time. Um, and uh, it's a good thing. Just remember, if you do put it on the lock screen message or edit the photo, the lock screen photo with the phone number, that anybody can see that. I don't, you know, I don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing, but that's the case. Scooter X saying Android 9 has, which is uh, Android Pi, the latest emergency information section for access on the lock screen. Excellent. Excellent. So uh, that <laughs> fewer than 1% of all Android phones are on Android 9. However, <laughs> uh, if you are, it's in there, I guess. I'll have to figure out where do they, where do they keep that Scooter X? He's in our chat room. Is that uh, in contacts? It should be more obvious. And on, and on the iPhone, and I know most people have iPhones, more than half of smartphone users in the U.S. are on an iPhone, just go to the health application, which is on all iPhones, and you'll see in the health application there's a place that you can put emergency medical information. They call it medical ID. Fill that all out. That's all you need to do. It's that little asterisk on the right at the bottom. Medical ID, put in contact information, blood type, medications, allergies, reactions, that kind of thing. And then first responders will be able to get to that immediately without unlocking your phone. And that's life or death. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. More to come right after this. Since settings under emergency. Thank you. Uh, oh, I'm on an iPhone. <laughs> I get conf I get con I get confused. Let me do this real quickly here and see. So here's uh, settings, emergency. There you go. Emergency information. It's in system about phones. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Whoops. So fill this out. Medic. Oh, there it is. Good. So search for emergency in settings. I'll say that when we come back. And uh, then under the about phone, adding medical information in emergency contacts can help first responders in an emergency. Anyone can read this information from your lock screen and dial your contacts by tapping their names without unlocking your phone. Huge. Huge. Look at this. Uh, and you could see I haven't filled mine in. So I will do that. That's awesome. And uh, Out of Sync says Android N has that as well. And, you know, we're going to make this the tip of the week because this is so important. Uh, and thanks to our chat room, I think Scooter X uh, and others in the chat room have pointed out that on uh, the latest versions of Android, Nougat and 
pie, <laughs> eight and nine, there is an emergency contact information section, ICE, in case of emergency. And the way to find it is to open the settings and search for emergency. And you'll see under About Phone, at least on a stock Android 9 phone, which I'm using right now, the Pixel, you'll see under System About Phone, there's an Emergency Information section. You can fill that out. Make sure you fill out the personal information, things like blood type, allergies, medications, organ donor, and then add at least one phone number, two if possible, for emergency contacts. And the... First responders know that they can read that information if your phone is locked by swiping up on the lock screen to the pin. You could you could try this yourself. At the bottom of the uh, pin pad, there's the word emergency. I always just assumed that was to make an emergency call, but when you press it, you'll see emergency information, and you can and you can hit the emergency information that way. So that is a that is a really good feature to enable on modern Android phones. Samsung has a similar feature iPhones uh, with the latest versions of iOS, I think it started, I don't remember when it started, but uh, maybe iOS 11. It, you go to the Health app, and in the Health app, there's a medical ID section. You can fill that out, and it'll have all the information that first responders need. If you're unresponsive, but you've got your smartphone with you, they can get the information they need. And that does make a big difference in uh, getting help.